We'll make it good. Yeah. Hi, everybody. It's Mama D. And David. How are you? I know we haven't vlogged in a while from uh, Valley Theater, uh, but we had a little fender bender on the Friday before Thanksgiving, and we had to recuperate. That's the best way I could describe it. However, we did go to see Little Shop of Horrors at the Mesa Art Center with our beautiful Michaela. And let me tell you, her and the crew were just fantastic. Um, and our buddy Jared was in it also. He played the voice of, um, of, Audrey, of too. Audrey too, And he was so good. Uh, really, really good. And Michaela... You were spot on. In fact, everybody in the cast was just fantastic. The music, the singing, the dancing. Um, the cast, your your chemistry was just fantastic. I'm so glad we got a chance to come see you. And um, we had been listening to the record, uh, the album, all week long. And let me tell you, you guys sounded just like we were listening to the album. Yeah. So... Thank you for a great performance, and uh, we can't wait to see you guys in other performances. Um, so uh, keep us posted and let us know where you're going to be and when you're going to be. But thank you um, to the cast and crew of uh, Little Shop of Horrors. You were phenomenal, just phenomenal. And you know, Michaela, we just love you to death, and <laughs> you too, Jared. Okay, coming up soon is... Um, a Christmas Carol at the Hale Theater. Yep. Um, we will be going on November 30th to see the Green, the Green Cast, and December 2nd, which is Mama D's birthday. I love birthdays. To see the Red Cast. Anybody that doesn't love birthdays, remember this. It's the one day God gives you, no matter what, to celebrate you. So don't think of the numbers. Mama D is going to be 69. Do I feel 69? Nah, some days I feel 96, but I don't ever feel 69. So, forget about the number. Just enjoy the day. It's your day to celebrate you. That's your day. Um, but yes, we're going on my birthday, and I'm so excited to be able to celebrate my birthday with um, a group of people that we just absolutely love. Not just the people that are going to be playing in the Christmas Carol, but the Hale Theater um, people the staff and everything we just love all of you you're just like our second family and i'm excited to be able to celebrate my birthday with all of you so it's really exciting in fact last night we saw the closing of right. fiddler on the roof and i can't say enough to you guys how wonderful and beautiful oh, you're, you're laughing you're crying oh you're yeah everything. laughing crying everything how wonderful and beautiful a job you all did. Adam, you you as Tevia was just so breathtaking. So breathtaking. And and all of you, all of you, um, it just was so beautiful. Uh, the, the chemistry was there. Everybody singing and dancing. And um, Kyle, I, I still could swear that you were playing that fiddle. I... I <laughs> I really could. Just everyone was just so amazing. And I'm so glad that we got to see you opening night and closing night. And I will tell you, closing night, you were just as good, if not better, than opening night. So thank you. I love Fiddler on the Roof. It's one of our favorite plays and, um, and stories. I could watch the movie over and over again and listen to the album. And so thank you. What a beautiful time we had, huh? Yes, we did. We we just have I just love going to the Hale Theater. <laughs> no matter what show it is. David just uh he who was looking over at things last night saying, Well, you know, we don't have tickets for this. You think we can go to this? Or we don't have tickets for this. What about if we go to this? So we will be coming back, but we're excited. Um next week we're gonna you're gonna see our ugly mugs. <laughs> Two times. Two times. And we're really excited to come see A Christmas Carol. Um, if you guys out there have not yet been to the Hale Theater to see A Christmas Carol, I don't know what you're waiting for. Get your tickets. They're, um, there's, oh, they're selling out oh, yeah. fast. And there's all different times. You don't have to go to the evening performances. They have eve 
Okay. Excuse me. They have evening performances. They have early afternoon performances. So if you want to take your, you know, your kids, um, your school age kids, if you want to take them to see a beautiful production of um, Dickens' Christmas Carol, um, you can go in the afternoon. They have afternoon performances. Um, and it's just a beautiful show. And they just do the most wonderful job with it. So we're really excited to go, and we really want everybody out there to have an opportunity to see what a great job they do. Uh, they have a green cast and a red cast. We Every year we make sure we go to both casts, because sure enough, there's always people in both casts that we look forward to seeing every year um, that uh, happen to be in it. So, or see something different, you know, yeah. if they have new people in it. So, we're excited. Um, like I said, we're going on the 30th for opening night. And then we're going December 2nd on that Saturday for my birthday. So, we're, we're all, really excited. We're all 8 p.m. shows. Yeah, we're night. going to the 8 p.m. shows. But like I said, there's different times and different um, time of day so that you can go. So, if you want to go and you want to... You know, go to an earlier show because you don't want to be out that late or you have to go to work. Um, they do have afternoon shows on different days. So check it out. Uh, don't miss out because you really would be missing out. And it's a nice way to start bringing in the holiday season and the true meaning of the season. Not the gift giving and all that stuff, but the true meaning of the season. Um, also, Silver Star has a Christmas concert coming up. Yeah. Tell them about it. Well, um, they're going to be doing their Christmas concert. Tickets are on sale for that. You get a dinner and a show for one for fifty dollars, $50, I believe. Um, but um, get your tickets for that. And I do believe if you don't want the dinner, I ha I think they have if prices for just the show. Um, but it. You'd be missing out because their food is phenomenal. And it changes every, every, um... Every different, di yeah, yeah, different shows. Yeah. Uh, Barleen's is open again. Um, and I know there's tickets sell out fast, so um, check them out also. Our wonderful Combs Performing Arts Center is also going to be having a holiday sing-along. On, on December 1st, uh, Combs Curtain, Combs Fine Art Department will be having a sing-along, um, so get your tickets for that. Yeah. Um, that's on December 1st. I'll be there in the lobby saying hi to everybody, but um, come down and see a sing-along. Mm -hmm. And I believe AYT has some Christmas specials coming up too, yes. and uh, we're going to be checking that out. Um, if any of you have things that you want us to put out on the blog, whether we put it out on our, our Facebook page or you want us to vlog about it, please um, send us a note um, via Messenger and we will do another vlog and get it out there. Yes. Like I said it's been a, it, November's been kind of a strange, I yucky guess. month yeah. for us. We've had some um, problems and health problems and like I said, we had a fender bender. Not my fault. I wasn't nope. at fault. I got hit. And my poor little car got the worst of it. But anyway, if there's stuff out there you want us to get on our vlog and on our Facebook page, please let us know. Oh, The Chosen um, is putting out a new Christmas special. Um, and it'll be in theaters from December 12th, I believe, through the 17th. The 17th. Go on um, phantomentertainment.com and see where they're playing it. They're, most of them are going to be in the um, AMC theaters. And I know the one on Signal Butte has it um, in their theaters. You don't want to miss it. They've taken two of their Christmas um, shows and combined them together along with some beautiful music. Um, um, it, it's just going to be spectacular. It's just going to be absolutely um, spectacular. So get your tickets for that because they do sell out fast. And it's a beautiful way to start the Christmas season. Um, so The Chosen, don't forget to look for tickets for The Chosen and, and see that. 
Um, I guess that's it. Um, if you like uh, medieval times, I know this time of year they start decorating the castle okay. with all kinds of Christmas trees and stuff. You can go and get some nice family photos um, with the Christmas trees and, and the queens and stuff. So check that out. And I guess that's about it. Yeah, we're, about we're sorry we haven't vlogged in a while, but... Um, we're going to try to get back into, back into the swing yeah. of things. And um, and get out there and get our, our news out there. But to our AYT family, we love you. And we hope you all had a um, happy Thanksgiving. And to our Hail Theater family, our Medieval Times family, our... Um, Everybody. Yeah, our CPAC family and all. We wish you all... A, um, hope you all had a great and happy Thanksgiving. And um, with the Christmas season coming up, uh, remember... Peace on earth. If you don't get that exact thing that you think that person needed, then they didn't need it. So just enjoy the holiday season and don't stress yourself out. Somebody wants to say hello. Oh, yes. And so we will close with our beautiful Sid Nora. One time. Speak. <coughs> Speak. One time. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she just loves to give kisses. Alrighty then. Um, from Mama D. And David. God bless. Ah, Please. there she goes. God bless. Have a great week and take care. Bye. Bye. Have a great week.